today is Monday and it is the very beginning of the week. Well, not really because I have my sleepy voice on. It's 1043 at night and it is the beginning of spring break for my children. And let me tell you something. I went and rollerbladed for two hours today. I ain't been on no roller skates for at least a decade, okay? And I did that today with my kids and it took me out like I came home after rollerblading with them and I got in my bed and I watched Outer Banks and I finished the episode I waited for my husband to get home and I was out and now I am just up so right now I am going to do some budgeting because sure you've been spending money like crazy and I need to like slow down so I am gonna get some budgeting done and earlier today oh my gosh guys earlier today so we have this thing called um, the black alumni reunion here in Arkansas for the University of Arkansas and it happens every two years and the last two years we weren't able to do it because of freaking COVID in the panorama so so excited that we get to see people even though like i'm an extrovert introvert i'm like excited to be around people for some odd reason probably because it was taken away from us for two years and so yeah and i just i love being immersed in just having a whole bunch of black people around because in northwest arkansas we don't get that a lot so anyways um i ordered a size large in dresses because when I went and I looked at my measurements and everything it matched up with a size large which is great and the other good thing about dresses is right now I would say and I'm not gonna call it my my problem area because this is how I was naturally built even with losing weight I'm still curvy and so I'm not gonna say that it's a problem area because God made me this way and I'm a masterpiece um but my hips are so out of proportion with the rest of my body like my waist is small I have a big chest and then my hips are just like BAM and so what's wild is when and I might have mentioned this before but like when I go and look at my measurements for like jeans and stuff realistically because my waist is smaller I'm supposed to be in a size 8 but baby the hips will humble you because with my hips I'm 11 inches off of being a size 8 and so you know with dresses like it's completely different because you don't have to actually you know like fit your legs individually into a dress and so I got to order larges in my dresses and so I'm really excited to get them and then hopefully I can do a haul and show you guys what they look like um the other thing is throughout this week since it is spring break and we are staying local I'll just be vlogging of some things that I'm doing around town with the kiddos my oldest is and we're doing something fun every day my oldest is going to march madness with my mom on a freaking plane um for the university since our fellas got are in the the tournament and i don't know much about sports ball so i'm not going to misquote things but so they're going to las vegas so i lose a kid essentially which means that i can focus on doing stuff with the younger two but i'm so happy that my 16 year old gets that opportunity and she gets to experience it with my mom because that is a blessing to have your grandma around and active and things and so yeah um that's just what the vlog is going to consist of also you guys i had a my weight loss video on facebook is now up to 528 thousand views and let me just use this time to just go on a vent session for a minute the amount of people that just say just go to the gym you need to work out you could have achieved these results in the kitchen just by eating healthy like bffr okay first of all 
I always give this disclaimer of I did what was right for me. I can't speak for other people. If you have a fear of surgeries, if you don't want to risk this, then that's like really up to you. If you want to do it the natural way, guess what? That's up to you. Who am I to say anything about what you choose for your life? Because I went to a surgeon to reset my body. I was not worried about having the surgery because I had three C-sections, y'all. Three C-sections to where I was sliced in my pelvic bone to bring three beautiful, healthy kids into this world. And I spent so much time prioritizing everybody else that it was time for me to take care of me. And I felt like this was the best route for me to go for myself, okay? I don't regret my decision. I am happy with my decision. I am happy that my pouch has saved me in more ways than one. When I was talking to my PCP, who has been my doctor since I was 12 years old, and I absolutely love him to death, and he is now my children's PCP, I was like, okay, tell me how you feel about the fact that I'm getting weight loss surgery and like the risk. And he said, Megan, there's risks associated with everything. Like you risk your life when you get in your car every day and you depend on somebody else's driving not to kill you. And I was like, that's mad wild and like to, to put it like that. But I, I saw where he was going with it. But I mean, that is true um, to an extent. It's just about the risk that we are willing to take and what we're not. And a lot of times like, when I do respond in the comments, I'll say like this surgery saved my life because it did. Like I have been able to do things that I have not done in years, rollerblading for two hours with my kids today, buying a size large in a dress, like who is she? I have not been able to do that because I was a size freaking 22 in dresses and like people saying, well, you were beautiful before weight loss surgery. Like guys, we have to stop associating like weight and how somebody physically like, like looks like if they're pretty or not. Like the two don't, it does not compute. They do not correlate. Somebody can be beautiful and be a larger size woman. Like that's not just totally out of the norm. Never did I say I got weight loss surgery because I did not feel pretty. Like, no. I got weight loss surgery because I needed a lifestyle and a health change. It had to happen for me because that is what I chose. Um, it's just, and I know the thing is gonna be like, you choose to like say stuff about your life on the internet, blah, blah, blah. You have to be open to criticism. And I get that, but like, that doesn't just mean that you just get to be a giant butthole. <laughs> I can lose weight, but you're still going to be a butthole. So, like, yeah. But anyways, so, yeah, now that I'm done with my little rant, um, this week is going to be fun. It's going to be lit. I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, guys, so it's the next day, and I am about to go and get a workout in. I am wearing this super stretchy top from Amazon for my workout and also some very, very high waisted pants as well, workout stuff. And complete transparency, I'm getting my stuff like a little smaller now. Like you can see that there's a little bit of that bulge coming out here so I'm getting it a little smaller now just so I can have more time with my items as I continue to lose so these pants are a size large and the top is a large as well realistically I should be in an extra large but I want to be able to wear them for a while and I'm totally comfortable like being in a smaller size that doesn't really fit me just yet because I know that like in a month I'll be able to fit it so I'm fine with that so yeah we're heading out to the gym and then after that I'm gonna come home and do a little cleaning and then I told the kids that they could do a little bit of shopping today so that's what's on the agenda <laughs> Yeah,
I have to deconstruct my taco so I can eat it. No, I need it. You want this yeah. one? I need it more than you. Can I have a. Do you want your tomatoes? Tomato, tomato. Okay, you guys, so I told you that we were going to go shopping yesterday and I'll show you what I got. Just like a few things. I got these stretch mom jean classics from American Eagle and I got them in a size 14. <clears throat> so I'll show you guys how these look once I put them on. And then Bath and Body Works was having a 40% off sale. And then I had, on top of that, I had a 25% off coupon in my rewards. I got this Coco Paradise Diamond Shimmer Mist, and it looks like this. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. And I really like shimmery stuff. See? My sisters make fun of me because they say it's like very juvenile, but I don't care. I love a good shimmer. So I got that. And then I got Into the Night Fine Fragrance Mist. And it's the traveling size. This is one of the items that I got for free. And I needed more candles. And so it's a good thing that they were having a sale because I still have some of my candles up from Christmas. So I got the Coco Paradise candle and it looks like this. And then I got Sorry, they're in those little insert things and it's like hard to pull it out. I got mahogany coconut and it's like, it's kind of like mahogany teak wood if you're familiar with that, but the smell is a lot more faint. Mahogany teak wood is very strong. And This is a new scent for me, Fiji White Sands. It's very floral, it's soft. I would say that it's extremely spring. It looks like this. And I really like this one because it goes along with my aesthetic of beige, brown, and blacks. Love that for me. And then, Lastly, I got pink lavender espresso and it, whatever you would imagine pink coffee to smell like, that's what this is. It smells like pink coffee and it smells really good. But yeah, you know what's so funny is like me and my sister were talking about the fact that like we bought new candles but the house like isn't in order enough for us to actually like 
light the candles because our house has to be just like completely clean in order to do that so i'm gonna clean my kitchen tonight and our dishwasher went out and we can't get the new part for it until early next week so that sucks so i'm gonna be hand washing dishes hate that so i'm gonna do the kitchen at least tonight and the entryway and the living room and then tomorrow morning i'll focus on the upstairs so that way going into thursday and like the weekend my house will be clean so yeah let me show you guys these jeans though <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back home. There was a footage of us going to Dave and Buster's and eating as well. Um, so I'm back home. I would love to take my makeup off and get in the shower and get in the bed, but I'm going to the gym. It's 7.47 right now, so I have three classes that are scheduled for hot work so i'm gonna go and do those and i'm just gonna wear this and i have wipes in my car to take my makeup off too so good to go there i do want to say that oh i didn't show you guys my little jumper so it's it's actually like a, a workout <laughs> bodysuit and it's from old navy it's a size extra large and it's petite i'm sorry i thought that i talked to you guys about this but that was in a reel that i did earlier so it's an extra large petite old navy and i really like these because they come with built-in bras now here's my disclaimer this little thing no ma'am I, I can't I can't deal with these little inserts so I took mine out because they just keep getting folded up I just really like the fact that I don't have to wear a bra with it and like today I had it on with just a blue jean jacket and that was perfectly fine but yeah it's good because you can just transition um, and go and work out after you do your normal day-to-day -day stuff so that's what I'm gonna do and then tomorrow what we have on the agenda is i'm going in the morning for a facial at 11 and she's going to do like a whole evaluation of my face um once we hit summertime i don't want to nearly wear any makeup the summers here in arkansas are brutal and they're humid and it's just a very I hate to use the word moist, but it is a very moist heat. And so to wear a foundation, powder, all of that is just a lot. So I would like to wear the least amount possible. But I also want to be confident that my skin is in good condition to be able to do so. I drink like 90 ounces of water a day. So water is not going to be an issue. It's just going to be like me finding out what I need to do as far as treatments are concerned for my face. So we'll do that tomorrow so i'm gonna say good night to you guys right now i'm gonna go do my workout come home and do like my night routine take a shower and stuff and i will see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs> Hey guys okay so the last clip that you saw was of me getting my facial done that's why i was really oily and then this morning i just finished my skincare so that's why i'm really oily now so i went over um i went over like what my goals were with the esthetician and she's great her name is sean and she's wonderful she spent a lot of time like educating me 
on skincare she also told me i like i led with my skin sucks and she told me that it it doesn't and that my skin's beautiful so that made me feel good i got a dermaplane done and let me tell y'all like after doing that the shade of my face is like actually the shade of my body and it it brightened my skin and so i really enjoyed that i did express to her that like my under eyes are a concern of mine and it's hereditary that in our family that um like my mom has dark circles under her eyes and so she recommended that i get this rock multi-correction revive and glow eye balm so i picked it up and i'll link it down below but basically it says that you can use it under your eye during the a.m and p.m and i'm going to do it for both you can do it either or but i'm going to do it for a.m and p.m and it's vitamin c and i was just telling her i was like i drink a ton of water um but i need like some extra help as far as that is concerned and i also want to be able to not wear a ton of makeup in the summer like i just want to be able to wear like under eye concealer and some lashes and a little bit of powder and maybe walk out the door and so i should have brought my tripod down here because this is making my hand hurt so bad so um we went over that and i'm scheduled to do a two chemical peels so i'm gonna do one round of chemical peels and then another round um, just to take away some of this hyperpigmentation that you see here and it'll also help with my hormonal breakouts that I get so I'm really excited about that not too fond of extractions guys like the extractions part not fun at all so yeah and I also wanted to show you guys when I was at local I mean I meant to like insert a clip and talk about this but when I was at local on I wanted to show you guys just like how possible it is to have a good time with your family and you're on an alternative lifestyle and like a lot of people will not understand that but like going out to eat with your family and still being able to enjoy their company and eat things that you love but just in a healthier way so like the carnitas from local lime absolutely love them i also love their pineapple chorizo um but i i can't have the pineapple because it has too much sugar in it so i got the carnitas and i just completely deconstructed the tacos i was only able to eat the meat out of one of them, they give you three, and um, I deconstructed it, took it out of the tortilla, and ate the meat, and then my husband doesn't like sour cream, so I took his sour cream and his pico and all of his veggies and dumped it on top of it, and honestly, like, I don't even really miss the tortillas because I've been doing it like this for so long. Now, when I get further along, like, in my weight loss journey and i am closer to my goal weight then i will be okay with consuming that but i also have to keep in mind that the carbs are going to take up space in my stomach that was intended for protein so it's just you have to be mindful about that so yeah that's pretty much it so my next video that you guys are going to see will be this is the last week of March. Isn't that insane? March went on like forever and ever. So my last video that you guys will see from me will be, or my next video will be next Sunday. And that's actually going to be a try on haul of my old Navy athleisure that I just got my order. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you can be tuned in for that. And then the Tuesday after that, which is I think April 4th, I'm doing my my three month post-op update so you guys can see how many inches I've lost in total, how much weight I've lost in total as well. So just make sure you are subscribed um, and like this video and comment down below. Like, let's get a little chatty in the comments. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Today is Sunday when this is going up. And so I hope you guys have an amazing work week and I'll check in with you guys next week. Bye.